What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. We'll be going over Melissa Barrera's recent comments about a, a potential direction Scream 7 could go. Not necessarily one I would like to see them do, but also one I'm not completely against because again, execution is everything. She had a recent interview with Flickering Myth uh, talking about her upcoming film Carmen or her newly released film Carmen, I should say. And one of the questions brought up during this interview was if she would like the direction to or would like to see the direction of sam as a ghost face killer explored in scream 7 asking like so is that one possible direction you hope the movies go embracing the killer within and melissa said this i would love that it would be my dream for sam to be ghost face and i think many people think that's where it will go which is why i sadly think it won't happen but i'm hoping that if we do get to do a seventh it will be as exciting as six now i will say this about those comments I do not think that most people, if you were to ask them who they think is going to be the killer in Screen 7, I don't think most people would say it's going to be Sam Carpenter. I think most people would say it's going to be Christina Carpenter. So if you were to do Sam Carpenter, sure, it could be shocking. But then also at the same time, it's like, OK, well, it's kind of the inverse of what we know you weren't going to do with Sidney Prescott. You've had a fight. You've had a good girl gone bad. Someone who's been fighting these demons within herself about who she is, struggling with who she is, her identity, who she's related to and all of the past trauma with Billy Loomis. Now she's finally given into that dark side after it was what many people say was teased at the end of Scream 6. I more or less saw that as Sam has come to terms with who she is. When Tara calls out to her, she kind of snaps out of it and is at, at peace with who she is. That's why she drops the mask and she's walking away from it. To me, that was a symbol that was symbolizing that she knows who she is. She knows she doesn't have to go down that path, but she knows that who she is and who she's connected to has benefited her in some capacity but she doesn't have to go down the down the path that her father went she doesn't have to go out into the darkness i would say she doesn't have to do that she's content with who she is she doesn't have to listen to what the online internet has to say about her what reddit is saying and the woodsboro what is it the woodsboro truther reddit subreddit which is apparently real where people were talking about richie and amber were innocent and she did she doesn't have to listen to all that and give in she's content with who she is and she's leaving all that behind I don't know that if they were to do this in Scream 7, if it would come off all that well on screen in sense of how it's received by most people who watch it. Again, I would be open to giving it a fair review. If it's executed well, then it's just executed well. But if it's executed in a manner in which it's like, okay, you didn't have to completely just go against everything she had worked so hard to not be just to give me something for shock value and then everything after the after the reveal is weak like the motive let's say her reasoning and anything else because what would trigger her to snap there might be something that happened in between the events of six to seven that we don't know about that could trigger sam to snap i've actually thought about an idea of having ghostface who is blackmailing sam to do some killings and maybe that could be why she dons the mask to keep people safe out of the fact that she's being blackmailed or maybe just being again coerced or convinced into into doing it because somebody who was really pulling the strings is like hey if you don't do this i'm gonna kill your sister i'm gonna kill chad mindy etc anyone else you love i'll kill them if you don't do xyz maybe you can see something like that play out in scream 7 i thought that her comments were very interesting that she said she would love to see that but i also want to point this out her saying she would her saying she would love to see that is not an admission that she thinks that this is the best route that they could go. That's not what she's saying at all. She's just saying that if they were to do that, she would love to see that play out. But she also doesn't think it'll happen because that's what many people to her seem to think will go down in Scream 7. But I would argue that many people seem to think that Christina Carpenter will be the killer in Scream 7. But if Sam ends up donning the mask and if it somehow ends up being executed in a manner that is digestible, something that is coherent, makes sense and doesn't feel like a complete waste of time to the other two movies you've done with her and everything that's been, been established with her as a character. If you can somehow manage to avoid all of that, then I will give you a pat on the back. I will shake your hand. I will tell you, well, job well done because you somehow managed to take a final girl that I was completely invested in, revert her over to the dark side, and it did not completely backfire. 
Uh, I see more of a potential chance for that to go over more well for Sam than Sydney at this point. Sydney's just been f been through far too much for you to tell a narrative like that at this point. You had an opportunity maybe a few decades ago, but doing it now, no. If you're going to do it with any of the two, definitely would be Sam. I just don't see it happening. I also do not think it would be the best option to go with. I still think right now that the best option to go with would be Leslie Mocker. And I know many of you listening to my videos might be saying, oh, well, you talk about Leslie all the time. Wouldn't that be too obvious? Yes. Keep in mind, this is just my channel my channel isn't something that is that major or anything it's a, it's a very small audience and i appreciate all of you but <laughs> me talking about leslie doesn't mean that leslie wouldn't be the most shocking thing if it were to occur many people would still be shocked by it let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video